Um, I went to college in Sarasota, Florida, and I did not just go down there for the weather. I went to Barnum and Bailey Clown College, and before you laugh your ass off like, ha, <laughs> clown, college, check this. My school was harder to get into than Harvard. 4,000 people apply for 14 slots. Like most kids, I had a bike. Or at least I did before my fool brother left the garage door open and it got stolen. My bike had a red squeezy horn on the handlebars and one day I was like, couldn't that be a nose? So I pulled it off and used my mother's nail scissors to make a slit and she was all like, who took my nail scissors? <laughs> she was always super anal about her nail supplies. So I put this red rubber thing on my nose and I walked around the neighborhood in Karakta. <laughs> but nobody laughed. They were just like, why you got that thing on your nose? And I was like, because I'm a clown. <laughs> and they were like, no, you're not. You just got a bike horn on your face. So I went home. I YouTube shit up. Seems like big feet are important and white faces. And I'm like, there must have been black clouds. Wikipedia. Boom, they were mostly in France and rodeos. Most wore the traditional white face, but some of them were like, fuck that. One of the fuck that's went by the stage name Chocolat. <laughs> and I got to thinking, maybe I need a stage name. Nobody's gonna laugh at a clown named Cheryl. I went into the living room. My brother was watching Jackass on TV. <sighs> I know, right? And he's like, did you know Steve-O went to clown college? <laughs> what? I could hardly breathe. In that moment, I knew this was my calling. This was my vocation. I applied to BBCC and got an interview with these three middle-aged clowns, white guys with sunburns. They asked about my goals and I laid it out. I am not gonna be working birthday parties and making balloon animals. I'm gonna be an artist like Buster Keaton. And they're like, uh, we don't have many female clowns. And I'm like, then maybe you need some. <laughs> they laugh too hard to demonstrate their lack of sexism and racism. I get in. <laughs> I do all the courses and yes, there are actual courses. You gotta do mask work, you gotta do gymnastics, you gotta learn about stage makeup and squeeze in and out of that little car. Yeah. Then, uh, just as I'm about to graduate, the Barnum and Bailey Circus goes under. And I'm like, what the fuck, PETA? <sighs> but okay, okay, maybe they're right. Maybe a circus doesn't need animals in cages. I've recently had some experience with enclosure myself. <sighs> and that's when I trained my sights on Cirque du Soleil. And with my degree, I get an audition like that. And they loved me the way Paris loved Josephine Baker, the way they loved Jerry Lewis. And then I was on the road with my people, show people, <laughs> making people laugh, making a living, a good living, as a clown, as a working artist. <laughs> then COVID hits. No more touring, no more shows. You put a bunch of people together under a tent now, it's like stuffing soldiers onto cargo ships in 1918. So now I'm in Brooklyn, the clown gnomes. Toy gun. And a fairly sizable kitchen. And roof access. <laughs> um, my name is Yolo and I am available for socially distanced parties. All I wanna do is make someone laugh.